What is going on Adventure Nation? We are just outside of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania in Cotterus State Park. I've been saying Cotterus, but as you guys know, I'm not really good at getting <laughs> that. Everything. Yeah. So today is a travel day. We're heading over towards York, PA and on to Lancaster into Amish country. Amish country? This is the motorhome experiment. Okay, Cotterus State Park is very, very handy to Gettysburg, mm -hmm. and it was how much per night? It was $3 a night, and that's just electric sites. This park doesn't have full hookups right. or even water. It's only you have electric or nothing, dry camping basically. So it was $3 that included tax for this spot. We had electric, and like he said, it's very handy, 60 miles to Gettysburg, and this closest town is Hanover that is a pretty little yeah, town Yeah, Hanover too. was cool as well. And yeah, it has all your amenities there too. Yep. Again, want to thank the Young family from the bottom of our hearts. That was absolutely amazing. What a great way to see Gettysburg from the air. It's actually a great way to see anybody, I was telling anywhere Paul, from the air. Like, National Park doesn't allow you to fly drones to get aerial shots. This is a different way yeah, to do it. Yeah, that was a, that was a different <laughs> way to got my aerial shots without the drones. So that's cool. But uh, today we're, we're heading over towards the Philadelphia area, but we've been told by another viewer about Lancaster being Amish country, so we're going to check that out. I wanted to check out Harley Davidson, but we were told by a viewer yesterday who we happened to run into in the viewer's center, the visitor center at Gettysburg, that the line is shut down right now. So it yeah, doesn't they, look like we're gonna do Harley Davidson. They shut it down for two weeks every summer. This happened to the two weeks yeah, when we're so, here. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's what it is. So, we're yeah. going to roll cameras today, see what happens. And uh, oh, and just a FYI about this part is like this is like the open area. It's very grassy. Oh, it yeah. has your picnic table, fire pits. But there's the wooded area where you don't see the sun. So it's very hot day. Great. The wooded area, great for boondocking or just having electric. It doesn't get as hot. But this is the spot we got. Yeah, this, is, this area up in here, as you can see, is pretty just wide open. Uh, the spots are paved. They're not all that level. <clears throat> our spot might look level, but our front wheels were four or five inches off the ground. We were initially in another site that wasn't even close. There's the fifth wheel thing again. Very cool with the military truck, but uh, pretty nice campground overall. It gets extremely crowded on the weekends, by the way. Yeah, it's very crowded on weekends. You wanna make sure that you have a reservation. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. You Meet you down at the uh, dump station. All right. Yeah, these spots on the left where the picnic tables are there, those are the ones they originally had for us, but yeah, that doesn't work. With a Class A, you can't level it on that. It's hard to level a trailer on that, but people were doing it, having the hitch four feet off the ground. All right, we are rolling out of Cotter State Park. We're not going far up the road. We're going in between York and Lancaster, and we're getting into Amish or Amish country, depending on how you want to say it. Amish. Amish? I want to say it Amish. You want to say it Amish? <laughs> tomato, tomato, Amish, Amish, Amish. Uh, but anyways, a couple things we want to address, which we try to address every now and then in our videos. Uh, first and foremost, I want to get this out of the way. This horrible thing here that you, Schroeder, happened to point out, this wood piece, it's driving me crazy. I haven't got a chance to fix it yet, but that's what happens when you get into humidity and the vehicle you're driving isn't used to it. I'm just going to get a real piece of wood, which should already be on there anyways, a real piece of wood, stain it, and we'll be good to go. Secondly, again, gang, these videos take me anywhere from six hours to 12 hours to edit, to render, which is a process that gets it ready to upload and then uploading. Anywhere from six to 12 hours. Takes a very long time. And that is why they lag behind. Very cool car. That is why they lag behind anywhere from a week to two weeks. I've been really desperately trying to catch up, but by trying to create content, and then edit that content and then not having enough time in between makes it very, very difficult. So at present, we're two weeks behind. 
the best thing to do if you want to stay up to date on where we actually are and be able to maybe if we're you know somewhere we can do lunch or have a little quick meetup that probably would have been the best way to go yeah where are you going well i'm just following the road but anyways another wrong turn folks but i know this gets us out too this is the way we've been coming in and out and that's what's just in my head so follow us on facebook facebook.com forward slash the motorhome experiment and we try to check in quite a bit unless i'm trying to sneak up on friends and that way you'll know if we're in your area or not that's how aaron knew that we were in this area and was able to touch base with, touch base with us and luckily for us because we got to go fly in an airplane so that that was cool and so that that's the best way if you guys want to stay up to date on where we are because the videos lag behind. If you comment on a video and say, hey, go to this restaurant, we're long gone out of the area and we would love to go to that restaurant. So follow us on Facebook and then that way you know when we're in an area and maybe some of the suggestions you give us wind up on the channel and then hopefully I'll remember who you are and we can uh, give you credit for showing us some cool stuff. Anything else, Lorena? On down the road. So I can go left or right here. So left. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Traffic circle would continue straight. This is cool. Most of you probably realize if you've been watching the channel for any length of time now that. I'm a wee bit of a motorcycle fan, even though I make fun of bikers all the time. And there's this. goodness Paul he had to have a motorcycle let's go train them to be consumers I can't believe it the Harley-Davidson factory tour was very very cool sorry we couldn't take you guys in there it's highly secretive especially right now because they're in the process of switching over from 2017 models to the 2018 models. And I get it, they, they don't want any of the, you know, the cool stuff from 2018 coming out on anybody's video, so I get that. But very, very cool, and we'll talk about it more in the RV when it's gonna be a little quieter. I do wanna mention all this parking right up front, which is unusual, right up front is all RV and bus parking. Gotta love that. So we just kind of hid down there in the corner. There's six here, and then I think another two, oh, four here. Four here and two over where the other Harley Davidson truck is parked. So that's kind of nice. All right, we're gonna roll out of Harley Davidson here in York, Pennsylvania. York, PA. And we're gonna head over to a farm market for the night. Yeah, and just let's rate that 
this activity before we move rate on. this activity before we move on. All right, you know, for me, I love Harley Davidson, but it's just if you're in the area. I mean, this isn't something that is a is a day trip. It's, well, again, no. If you're a huge Harley Davidson fan, yeah, it's definitely worth a day trip. If you're within a day of here, come and see it. But if you're not a Harley Davidson fan, or you're not a motorcycle fan, or a fan of manufacturing. Nah, just, I mean, if you're here, come and see it because it is still kind of a cool process. So, I mean, for me, I, I think it's a, it's a two. I, I just think, you know, come and see it if you can. But huge Harley Davidson fan, better bump it up a little bit, make it a three and, and do the day trip to get here. I will say it would have been much better had there been manufacturing going on had been the manufacturing line be up and running yeah make sure it's only close two weeks a year we happen to be within and we those picked two weeks. it yay so just make sure you're not within those two weeks that is when they're changing everything from 2017 to 2018 models and just go and check out the uh tour is for free so no charge yeah whatsoever. it's a great great price for it's the tour every half an hour and uh for me, it was just if in the area. We're going east, left. Uh, for me, it's if in the area. Uh, I like Harley. When we used to have our Harleys, I mean, I love riding them and all that. I just think if you're in the area, come and check it out. Yeah, you're not a huge but, motorcycle fan as a whole. So, after seeing the process, I still am a Harley Davidson guy and still think that they're a really well made motorcycle. They're not cheap by any means, but oh, the one thing I wanted to mention, and this is freaking hilarious. For all of you Japanese bike owners that think they're the latest and greatest, the number one importer of Harley Davidson is? Australia. Australia and New Zealand. The number two, the people that buy more Harley Davidsons than anybody else on the planet, the Japanese. That's kind of weird, isn't it? You think they would buy their own motorcycles. I don't know, but they don't. They buy Harley Davidson. So that was pretty interesting to me. Okay, on the left along the fence. Mm. But we're not gonna be able to turn around. Yeah, we will. We can go around and come back in here, right? I'm just gonna, we'll make sure. This is one of these cool places I think you all are gonna enjoy. Lori's already here. Look, she's already made herself at home. Yes. How awesome. They tell you that. This place looks really cool. Yes. Little farm market. Oh, wow. This place is pretty cool looking. I can pretty much tell you guys that this free harvest host place to stay is not going to be so free. But we need the stuff that we see, so. Eggs, fruit, maybe some bread, cookies. Maybe this is good. Baked goods. What's up? Raspberry mustard. Raspberry mustard. No, that was kind of weird. Why would you feed Raspberry me that? Raspberry is good. No, that was, that was a little weird. It's good. I was not prepared for that. It's good. I saw a raspberry on there, and then I had that mustard taste. It was a little weird. It's a very, very dangerous place for Lorena. Already got her hands in the cookie jar. You guys may have heard us talk about this before, the Harvest Host program. So Harvest Host is a program that allows you to stay at various farms and wineries and markets and uh, other businesses that have the space for RVers and in hopes that you patronize their spots. So what we normally do is if Lorena is in the wine mood and needs a little bit of wine, we'll try to find a winery or this farm market is perfect fruits and veggies and, and fresh, uh, farm, fresh, farm right? fresh and eggs and all that kind of stuff so we needed that stuff anyways we found that it was close by 
and it's a perfect match. So we'll show you guys around a little bit and talk about more how the program works. But if you go to harvesthost.com and you sign up, make sure you mention the Motorhome Experiment and we get a little credit for that. I think they give us an extra month or two and I think you guys might even get an extra month or two when you sign up and mention us. I don't know if that's true, but I know we will. Spreading but this information like always. Always spreading this information, but harvesthosts.com. <laughs> it is a really cool program and it's a great way for, if you own a market or a farm or something where you need to bring people in, it's a great way to do that as well. Like we love to use it. And we use it once in a while, we use it yeah. all the time. I think when we use it, and this is the keynote, is like when you're gonna use our services or you're gonna use, you're not like forced to, like you can stay and just leave. But it's always nice to support right. whoever is hosting you. Absolutely. So even in labor, some of them actually also receive volunteer work. That's right. So if you want to come and help for two hours or so, you can always do that. Right. Yeah, they, they accept volunteer help. So if you're not wanting yeah. to spend money, you can also help on certain farms. And I believe this is one of them. Again, check out their website. Yeah. And good stuff. Yes. And this for so price. Dollar coffee, dollar cookies. Just come and grab a coffee. So do you think we're good for a little while? I think so, yes. What do we got here? We yep. have uh, farm fresh eggs, a lot of veggies to do make salads, potatoes, uh, a lot of fruit too, some cheese, some dry goods. And this place, as you can tell, is not that pricey. I mean, this bag of potatoes, the pounds, two twenty five. I don't think it's that bad. No, I don't I think, think it's, it's that bad feasible. at all. All, all this good, delicious stuff there. and Let me see. I'll get that root beer out of your way. All right. <laughs> oh, and we have, like, coffee from Lancaster, so. Yeah, we'll try that out. from Lancaster makes it damage automatically now? I don't know. Could be. Oh, Maybe no. not. Cool. We're here at this beautiful Flinch Boz farm market, so I thought I'd come over and get some work done in here. Check this out. Not a bad office for an hour or so. I think Ozzy's enjoying the farm market and then Lorena are hanging out at the RV oh and in he goes the big chicken what a beautiful setting out here sun's going down gonna put this bad boy up haven't done that in a while just sitting out here getting a little work done life is good Freya sitting over here, Lorena, and we've got Alan with us. And Alan is really responsible for us being in this area. He was the guy that said, hey, you're going to Gettysburg. And we were like, Gettysburg. But I'm glad he said it because we went to Gettysburg and it was awesome. And then he mentioned York and the Harley thing. That was awesome. And then tomorrow we're going to do Lancaster and we're going to do the Amish. The, Amish. Am the Amish. Is it Amish, Amish or Amish? Amish. You're going to party with the Amish. We're going to party with the Amish. So that's really cool. And with that being said, this is where we're gonna end this video. Thanks for watching. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, stay up to date on all of our travels. It'd be equally as cool if you like the video. I know Alan does. Give it a thumbs Alan's up. Alan's really gonna like this one. Give it a thumbs up. And subscribe. Thanks for watching, gang, and we'll see you again soon in another one. Later, bye now. Bye. What they say, <laughs> do it.